Hey everyone, welcome back to week 14 on the TOS Enterprise and the continuing adventures with the German infantry and the Tiger tanks in their urban combat scene. Um, also, yes, I am posting this today, which is Saturday, and there's uh, a really good reason why um, I'm going to start posting my videos on Saturdays. Uh, when I get to, my granddaughter gets to um, have time with me, Mom, and Papa and all that. Um, we get to see her Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, so Mom can work, and Dad. And when she's here um, on Fridays, you know, that's when I'm trying to get everything going and put together. And sometimes, sometimes she lets me do that, and there's other times that she just needs Papa. So um, that's why I'm going to start posting videos on Saturdays, because she's with Mom and Dad right now, so I can uh, do that. And... If I don't get everything I wanted to get done Friday with playing with my granddaughter and helping her get through all those teething pains, and yes, a little bugger is crawling like mad right now. It's awesome. But what I don't, what I'm able not to finish, I can finish up Saturday to, to, to end the week on the video. So there's that. So yes, I will start posting on Saturdays. Um, not bad week. Got a lot more done on the German troops and. Uh, Got the secondary hall to an oh, it's getting there, it's getting there. I'm not going to take away from the video. Um, you'll see, and you've already seen because you watched, you saw the intro pick. But yes, lighting and getting the secondary hall and things together, um, it was, it's good. I, I the, the, the hall is not sealed yet because it's still got a little bit to do, but it's awesome seeing both those halves together and lit. But uh, yeah, and yes, I had to go with the field gray on the, uh, the, tr what are infantry German troops that I already painted? And trust me, wow, it make one heck of a difference. So yay. So with that, if you are new to my channel, please click on the subscribe button. Click on the little bell, you know, every time I do upload. Also, if you see me doing something in a video, a uh, technique, or doing something, um, or that, uh, please, uh, if you have more questions about it, put it in the comment section. And also, you can say, hey, Buck, hey, could you just do a video just for that technique, or... Hey, uh, how did you do that? Like I said, just put it in the comment section. Also, you can also put, hey, Buck, good job. Hey, Buck, and okay. Or, hey, Buck, really? What were you thinking when you did that? Put that in the comment section, too, and I usually answer within 12 to 24 hours. So with that, let's get to the bench and see what got done. Well, good morning. It's Wednesday, and back to the studio. Finally had a busy day with appointments and stuff yesterday, so didn't get much done. And Monday, you know, is my grand me spending time with my granddaughter so um what i started doing is i've taken i haven't done any on the actual diorama yet but i went ahead and started playing or repainting some of the the troops and i just wanted to see how it looked and i'm actually liking that even better i think that looks really really cool and i'm happy that i asked my wife to get the field gray and i like it and somebody made a comment on on the, on my channel that um, just like, because I had that issue with the front of the box, it had one color and the back of the box had another color and, um, somebody said, you know, that might have been, you know, different color of the uniforms for different, um, parts of the German military, like, so I said, yeah, that's probably, yeah, okay. So, going back and doing these guys, getting these painted and getting ready and, um, I did spray these with Matt, um, Barnett matte clear and some of them still came out shiny so I'm trying um, I have the Vallejo uh, matte varnish so I'm gonna ch I just brushed a little bit on to to this set and I'm gonna see how that dries so there you go because this is where I want it I want it that matte I don't want any shiny on it so that's what I'm, I'm I'm testing again and I can't remember if I did that other set or not so I'm doing it again um, and so painting and then on the Enterprise I am going to do one more SMLED and then start getting wires put together and getting stuff, you know, so I can start getting this ready to seal up. So yeah, that's where I'm at. So let me move, get things moved around. I'll, I'll come back and I'll start showing you what I'm working on. All right. Got done with the first round of getting things repainted and redone, but I also took the equipment that I have already gotten painted, and I've separated it. I, I wanted to get them off the sprues, so I put them, so I've got them in different baggies. Because like I said, the Tamiya, 
either German, Japanese, or American, or British, they give you a lot of equipment. Extra, more than, yeah, which is great because I love to drop stuff on the floor. But I've got it all separated and ready to go. So now I know where it's all at. And yeah, so all these. So uh, like I said, I've been getting the, the painting finished up and it's at that point now where I gotta just wait for it to dry. So I guess it's, time, it's now time for me to go back to the Enterprise. Good Wednesday afternoon, and yes, I was tinkering around this morning as I wanted to try to get planned out. I'm starting the wiring up of the uh, secondary hull, and yes, I have attached the pylon. And the reason why is because they're such a tight fit, I wanted to make sure it was right. Now, I can protect the paint that I did on it and everything, but I want to be able to get the, uh, um, the wires into the pylon to begin with because, um, honestly, I... I probably what I usually do is I just run the wires out and then travel up the pylon to the nacelle but um, these are kind of a pain to get that wiring in so I wanted to get that taken care of and get this side ready to go it's all it's all now wired up tied into each other except for the rear strobes and the other thing um, I was wanting to hopefully get the uh, shuttle bay put in um, so I can start Planning on how I'm going to, because I got to conjoin, I got to get. Here is the starboard side strobe, or not strobe, but nav light, and then here's the power for the nacelles on um, for the, the rotating bussards. And um, what this will do here is it's going to help me when I go to put the two halves together. I can run, I'll run the two pieces and then I'll just keep running wire, because my end goal is I got to have. Um, uh, momentary wire going down to control the nacelles and then I got to start getting everything ready to go and one of the things I've always tried to figure out on the Enterprise refit I put the neck to the saucer and ran it that way but I'm thinking um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not gonna put the neck on solid yet but I want to get so I can get these guys in and get them going around but uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the saucer down on the neck like that so when everything's wired up and can go I can turn it like the instructions recommend and I'll share that with you when I get to that point but but the one thing I didn't think of um, is the shuttle bay ends here uh, let me see if I can get this enough so you can see it all right so I'll put the shuttle bay Right there where it's supposed to go. It's not... Give me a second here. Okay. There we go. Shuttle bay there. Then... The shuttle bay doors. And then... There's still some... Basically, I need to get this painted up. Um, gray. And I get this painted like the rest of the ship. So that's... And the first thing I need to do... Um, and do the shuttle bay door and and that so I can get this ready to you know do my thing with the paint then when I go to seal it all up then I can mask it and uh, um, what I plan on doing once I seal it up is I'll have the door on and then I'll just mask over this because um, I am gonna have to do some sealing and painting or you know seam work when I put this in um, I gotta uh, take care of that seam line and get that painted but I can let me see if I can show you this real quick so I can do that almost with the, with the doors but I might have to do a quick gray but then I still got to do the ceiling there but as you can see uh, my plan is to seal up the door with masking tape to take care of that and I might go ahead and get that painted as well to get started but that's the plan so now I need to get um, some gray loaded up some sky gray get these guys started and then get started on getting the other side wired up while this starts to dry so that's where I'm at right now guys and yes um, the German troops are dry and I know I still got to do some touch-ups and get them back together but um, I wanted to get on these guys since I spent a, a bit of time on the equipment and doing the hand painting so that's where I'm at right now and 
Also, because um, when I get this all ready to go wiring, I'm I, I, I'm gonna have everything go this way, so I can use this to to dro drop everything through. That way, when I go to seal it, I have access to it. But first things first, I gotta get some painting in and masking done, so I don't do the windows, and then I will get uh, get going on getting this wired up and getting it ready to go. Um, so I will be back. Good morning, Friday. Yes, I, I was trying to get stuff done. I got a lot done yesterday, but then I needed to step back because um, I have to fix a couple things here. But also, I wanted to get that photo edge part on and in place. Um, like I said, I, I, I have tore my studio up one side and down the other trying to find the, the kit part that goes with this. And I can't, but the great thing with Paragraphics did is you can see the angle that that's where it's supposed to sit, and um, and I had a I had an issue with a lot of it yesterday because I couldn't get it to line up right in here because I thought it was supposed to be further back, but no. But now it's there, so I can get some primer down on that and get started painting on this lovely thing, and get the insides here started to shape up. And then get painting on the German troops. And finish getting the starboard side done too. But that's where I'm at right now guys. So um, I'm going to get my airbrush loaded and get started painting. Well, actually I'm going to prime this first. And then I'll get started painting. Um, getting the insides ready to go. So with that I'll be back when I have more to share. Alright it's been a good day getting painting done. Um, first show you the shuttle bay doors. Let's see if I can let me do it that way, maybe. And then also on the inside of it, also got these guys done. Happy with that. So yay! But uh, also, um, like I said, I rewent and took the, the winter uh, infantry troops I had and I had to get them repainted. So now I've got the black, I'll have to do touch-ups on that around the harness, but and then do the other chrome. But yeah, I definitely like that a lot, lot better. Yeah. So yeah, that's where I'm at. So also one more thing before I do that. Let's let's look how that shuttle bay door is gonna look on this. Ooh. Very good. I'm liking that, yeah. And then, yeah, I'm loving that. That's cool. All right. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get gloss coated and protected, and then I'm going to get started working on um, getting the shell base secured and then finish doing the wiring and uh, getting ahead of myself. But first, I'm going to go get this uh, gloss coated so I don't have to worry about scratching the paint. All right. Um, I, like I said, I had to figure out. I had to fix the lighting issue for here. The one I put on the ship hull was in the wrong spot. And um, so I decided once I got this fixed, this is what I did. I put another SMLED and I used a 402. It's a wee bit smaller as you can see. If I can get it up to the camera for you. Okay. Definitely a wee bit smaller, but um, it definitely works. And yes, I have got the uh, shuttle bay down and ready to go so let me show you that real quick and let's turn you on make sure the power's at the right spot okay and make sure to keep those away from each other because god knows I've I've done that too before get the negative and stuff Okay, turn this one off, turn this one off, and look at that, guys. That's going to look lovely. That's going to be great. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm really looking, yeah. So uh, I'm going to let this dry for a bit, and then I'm going to start getting these guys tied up so I can start working on getting uh, into, into the hull. Um, so I can start getting everything wired up and in place to 
get ready to um, put the haul together. Um, so I'm going to let this get dry for a bit and then I will I'll be back. So yay! Secondary haul is about to come together. Well, good morning, Saturday, and yes, it is Saturday, and yes, I am in the studio. Um, changing it up, like I said in the intro, I'm going to start um, putting the video up now on Saturday, and um, which is kind of a good thing because, like I said in the intro, I, uh, a lot of things go on during the week, and then Fridays is especially a, a, a day because, a, always a great day because um, my granddaughter's here, and sometimes she, she'll let me do some work, but then she's like, yeah, no, Papa time. So, yep. So that's why I'm going to start putting these now up on Saturday, which you saw in the introduction. But also, I had a little incident with the paint. Even though I protected it and sprayed it and had everything done, um, I used a Tamiya um, uh, flat gloss or flat clear. And I did it, and I thought two hours was going to be a good dry. I thought two hours should have been a good, 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 good dry time good dry time and I guess it wasn't so I had to fix it not bad but had to fix it so now what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to get these guys joined up and start getting ready to wire these and then get started wiring on the secondary on the other half of the secondary hull and I will definitely have the camera on so you guys can see my thought process when I start doing that um, but uh, let me get things started and I'll come back when I get ready to to do that uh, part of the hull Okay, well, let's see if I can walk y'all through this. Um, sorry, take a bit. I've been doing, I've been working the paths out and planning, and that's kind of the first thing I want to talk about, guys. Is when you go to do lighting or you're trying, you know, like on a starship, you got lights in the secondary hull, strobes, nabs, except on this one. Um, but there still is lights, and there's still the strobe just for the shuttle bay. And then same with the other side, and then like I did I put that board in the saucer so I'm running everything down to here down out to the you know so I can power it up but the first thing I did is one yes I finally got the shuttle bay in and when you put it in especially if you're wiring and it looks a little it, it doesn't sit straight don't worry it'll come back up um, when you put the, 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 uh, the other side on but the first thing I did was I went ahead and made it up the uh, uh, negative and the uh, power for the SM LEDs here into one um, like here and then I still have to do this one but I have as you can see this is kind of crazy what I have so many wires going so um, first thing I do is I always try to make sure I have more than enough wire that's a big given because if you don't like I've done before it's like oh my god the other thing is because um, I'm putting the two sides together. I want to be, have enough so I can mate them all and then run them the pass. So I want to have enough um, wiggle room. So I've already been working on the other side. So yes, now I'm going to start getting these uh, joined up. And as you can see, um, it can sometimes be a, a bit of a deal. But as long as you know, I said I gave myself enough extra wire, and let's see, because he is sitting right into that one. I want to bring him out, and uh, let's see, how's this going? Because I didn't, problem is I didn't make sure this was long enough right here coming for the, the, other, the, the light coming out the back. Um, but that's okay, because I can work with that. But, I, like I said, I still want to make sure I have enough wire to play with, because I want to do this one, and then I'm going to make this one. And um, I'm going to make them all, because i got to do it to the other side, too. So, I need to get everything down to a more manageable level. And so that's what I'm going to do. And then the reason this one's already done, because of the nav lights and the nacelles, I'm having to, uh, this is going to be a different negative and it goes right back to the board so the wiring come from the nacelles for the navs and the strobes doesn't have to go down it just has to go up so I'll be able to do that real easy and then um, I have to run 
positive and negative up and down but I want to try to get everything tied together so um, yeah that's where I'm at right now so let me see what I can do here because I want to know how much room I'm going okay there we go all right actually I can probably just go ahead and do it like this and no yeah no uh, I'm just gonna trim a bit and then I'll start getting that worked in um, getting these guys all playing together nicely and then have my stuff going around so let me get it cleaned up a little bit more and I'll come back and I'll show you okay uh, gotten pretty much everything ready to go I wanted to make sure I had it all um, set up before you know so you weren't watching me trying to cut wire and do things so I've got 90% of my main power all hooked together and then I've got everything else as it needs to go and then I'll finish up getting the rest hooked up here but I thought I'd better share with you so I'm gonna start back here so what I got running right here right now these two this is for the nav lights uh, the port and starboard side and um, already got me some stuff down on there shrink tubing and so again guys it's just I kind of go where what feels the easiest and not by being the easiest but the easiest path to follow so make sure you tend your your thing your your soldering gun and then I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys soldered on okay and it's a little awkward for me because I got it over here but that's okay because I can do this so now what I want to do is I'm gonna trim the wire I'm gonna trim down this wire back I don't need that much okay and yeah the spaghettiness of the wires I tell you okay and don't worry I'll get those clean I'll get all the little bits cleaned out before we seal this thing but uh, I most of my shrink tubing I've I got a lot I used to get a lot from Home Depot but now I go to HDX and I get theirs is really good and I like it so just easily just take your lighter and it's easier to do underneath but hey you know it happens and then I'm gonna get this one ready and okay there we go sometimes I do try to lift it up enough that I can get under it and okay so these two are now good to go and I need to start getting these guys following a, a, a pattern um, and what I mean by that is I know they got to go up so I want to get the wires out of the way and like I said, there's a lot going on here. And let's see, where are you? Just had you. Okay, there you are. Okay. So right now I'm just gonna do that. Um because I still need to I need to do uh this one. This goes into the board up top to control the navs and the strobes. And again, it's a little thicker, um, a little more wiring, which is fine. Um just like I said, just go easy, take your time. 10 and and sometimes I probably use a lot more than I actually need but that means I know I got a good connection okay and again I will trim it down because I don't need to, that much and for this one I'm gonna do a little bit longer one on the shrink tubing because of I'm doing those two wires together so and when you go to do it sometimes you might have to move another the wires a little bit more together like that just to try to get the shrink tubing to fit over it like a so and again I'm just very carefully keeping my lighter close heating it up and if I need to I switch sides so I can get the other side and I try not to have it right on there 
and since I'm going to go this, I'm going to probably take 90 things. I'm taking everything, trying to get as much to this side of the hull as I can so that I can um, do it. Because here's where the, uh, zoom out here so you can see. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to get everything going this way because I want to run everything out of this because I've already put the base on. Or not the base, but that. So, then, um, sorry guys, kind of got to move this around so I can see it a little easier. And then I'll zoom in so you guys can see it. So now, this is my wire for the interrupt, um, the momentary switch for the warp nacelles, the bussards. And this is going to go down into the base because um, the boards and the the boards and the busters are they're already there. So yay! Um, so it's just power and interrupt. I didn't have to reconnect this one to the computer board, um, but I could have if I needed to before I sealed up the hole. <laughs> and yes, my wire is a little bit longer than others because again, I go on the. I go from lessons learned that I thought I had enough wire and it comes out I didn't have nearly enough and I was scrambling and and doing big making more connections than I wanted to just to get it back together so and I know so thrilling huh okay now also know this one is going to be going down um, these these three go up this one goes down and now I've got a lot of things ready to go, except for mostly the power. So that's what's up next. Oh, okay, gotta move things around again. Sorry guys. Okay, so, oh yeah, I gotta do that one too. Oops, forgot. And here's the ground wire for the stroke. And I will show you what I am um, not the ground, but the actual active wire that makes the strobe do the strobe thing. So, yay. And like I said, you, you see, sometimes you're like, oh my God, where did all this come from? Yeah. Okay. That is now good. And I can trim you right there. Put you down here. Okay, so this these go up. Okay, and this will go down. Just trying to work it there. Okay. And I will show you also, I will get those marked. Let me zoom out a little bit. I mean, um, so, oh, yeah, I'll take care of that. So, um, I had to make a, a few more jumps than I thought. I, I thought I had planned out well enough, but that's okay. So, I need, okay, I got you. Got you. Okay, now I need this one. I thought I had it already. Oh, that's me. Yeah, well, it happens. And again, like I say, always make sure you have enough. It's okay if you, you know, a lot of the wire that I don't use, I will definitely reuse. Trust me on that. Um, but don't short yourself. If you need to be, if it needs to be a little bit longer, then definitely make sure it is longer. And. Because I will tell you, man, I have, I have done a lot on Starships and I thought I had enough, uh, or anything that I've let, that I had enough wire and comes to find out I, what started looking good and what ended up happening was not the same thing. Um, but, so. And the wire for the, uh, the strobes and um, the metal wiring for the strobes and all that is um, it's a very good um, metal wire or something like that from uh, Tina Tina and then there's I then I use my usual 30 WAG 
So now I'm just going to start working on getting the power hooked up. And another thing, I insulate, I put the shrink wrap or shrink tubing on all my connections, especially with so much going on right here, because I've had things go together and oh yeah, it works, it works, and then all of a sudden it's like, uh, crap, what the heck? And I go back and uh, somehow I thought everything was secure, but it wasn't. And a negative cable or a negative wire hit a positive area and just, yeah, it was a pain in the butt. I will tell you that much. It was a pain. Big, big pain. But, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy trimmed. And like I said, I'll, I'll get rid of all that. And let's get you on. We'll get you shrunk down. Yay. Okay. Got that one down now. And I'm going to go ahead and tie it into this one. Maybe. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. But, whatever, right? Okay. So, now I'm going to go ahead and make sure that's soldered and uh, it's good to go. And then I'll get the positive over here and then I'll get everything ready to do one last jump or up and down excuse me, the up and down, but I always like to try to trim, even though I'm not done with it yet, I try to get a little bit of that trimmed off, because I will tell you what, man, there ain't nothing like it just being a pain in the uh, behind. Okay, and another thing, if you can, try to run your, when you're doing your wiring, try to run it as, um, where it's not going to be hard, to, what I mean by that is to lay down and um, glue to the hole um, to get it in spot. Yeah, dang it, that's why I have tweezers, Buck. Okay. Because I'm going to bring this one here. Yeah, I know, guys. Okay. And I'm going to make sure I hook it on the right one, right? Okay. And there is this one. Okay. Sometimes trying to strip it. If you got if you got long enough nails, you can do this with your fingernails. But I've had to trim mine, and sometimes it's a little ah. Uh, but um, what I'm doing here, this is 30 WAG. This is the, the main wire I use. And, uh, yeah. So now I'm going to do this. Maybe. Okay. And let's get a little bit of solder on that and some love. And always when you get done doing that one bit of soldering, if you're doing more, make sure you clean your soldering iron on the sponge. Um, get that get that off because if you don't, it'll keep cooking and it can ruin the uh, ruin the blade. So yes and yes. So one thing I always try to do, I always do, don't try do, is I can't hook up the strobes or the net or you know the nav lights are in the nacelle, but I can't hook up the strobes because it needs to be on that board. You've got to have that use of board, but I can do definitely check other things. Make sure everything is okay. Interesting. That is interesting to say in the least. Huh. And I just tested it before I even put all this on. 
Okay, give me a second, guys. Uh, let me check down and see what happened there, and then I'll be right back. Okay, got it figured out. Easy fix. So, I will test. And, voila! Light, light. So, okay, now that the light is on and working, I am going to now start training some of these to where I need them to go. Uh, actually, no, I need to get these two finished first. Scratch that idea. Dang it. <clears throat> Alright, let me get uh, the wire stripped and I'll be right back. Okay, got that done now. Alright, so um, I'm running two of the powers up to the saucer and then two down to the to main power in the, in the base. Um, and again, uh, there is a lot right there, but I get that squared away. So then we do, I do this, make sure it's tinned. And then I want to make sure there is a good, good amount of um, solder in there to make sure everything is connected. Because I've done that too before. I thought everything was good and it looked like it was a good solder job. And then all of a sudden I go to test it and boom, nothing. So, again, I, I trim off the excess. I always try to trim off the excess. Um, makes it easier, especially when you're putting the shrink tube on. So... And now since I've got two other pair, you know, I got two more running, um, when you do this, use, I, 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 it's been trial and error sometimes, but I have found the best way, especially when I'm running different jumps like this. Um, when I go to shrink tube it, um, if you got more than one that you just did and that's going to be it, um, wait till, till you're all done and then use both of the ones that you just soldered as the guide. To get it to that point right there and again before I get that set I want to make sure that it has power as soon as I find what to do with it okay because sometimes even when you're going to do that and you know, it's like, oh, it worked, it worked, and then you, you went to go put the shrink tube on, and then nothing happened, right? Okay. Okay, good to go. Like I said, I, I test, I test, and I test, and I test, and I test a lot. Oh, I guess I didn't show you. Um, darn it. I'll, I'll show you when I go do the negative. Sorry, I thought it was in camera, but no, I didn't put it in camera. Okay, and I am, okay, now I'm zoomed all the way out. Let's see if that helps. Okay, so what I meant, what I was just talking about, and you couldn't see, because, uh, is I'm running the one up to the saucer and then one down to the base. And I took those two lines, like this, and then I put my um, heat shrink tubing on it. It was a lot easier, but now I can really show you, because, oh, it's in camera. So, here is the negatives. Oh. Okay. Alright. And again, I just... Um, like I said, I always have more. I always uh, make sure every, every place I soldered, unless I can actually... Um, do a glue down or I sometimes I can I, I I've done it where I've had to, where I've not done a, a, a shrink tube to for the negative because I can put the hot glue over it and yay it's good all right so everything is now ready to to get started so um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and because this is my momentary switch I'm gonna go ahead and get that run out And I'm gonna get that run out. I know. Always talking, huh? Yeah, always, always, always talking. Okay. I got you run out. 
And the thing is, now I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to start working on getting it glued down. And that could take me a second because I'm going to have to fidget around with it. So as I get moving forward, I will return and share that with you. Okay, well, um, got everything glued down now to a point. There is some things that I have left loose. And because I, I just, I yeah, that is sometimes a headache. But the one thing I wanted to share too with you guys is... When you start, when you're chasing, you know, wires up to the, up to the saucer, make sure you go between these two, because the neck fits down like this, so there is that space. Um, I mean, you could probably run it anyway, but that's where I'm running mine. So yeah, that's where that's at. All right, guys, let me get some uh, things cleaned up now, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, and look, there be light. Yay! Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. Um, very, very happy. It's not sealed yet together. I just no, no. I've not put the two parts together yet. I just wanted to get there because I got to do a little bit more before I join the hounds. But I thought I'd let you know. try to see if you can. So you're not getting blinded out. But yeah, not bad, huh? Very nice. And yes, the shuttle bay has some nice, good to it. Um, lightning to it now. So with that, guys. Have a fun, safe, and great weekend. Have a fun, safe, and great week next week, and I'll see you back here on the bench.